In this video, we will compare the performance differences between two popular low mass systems, Warmboard and QuickTrack. We controlled variables by setting up the two systems side by side under identical test conditions. The two variables we could not control were tubing spacing and diameter. Warmboard uses half inch tubing at 12 inch spacing, while QuickTrack uses 5 16 tubing and uses 7 inch spacing. Nonetheless, both products receive the same water supply at the same temperature and flow rate. While the actual test time is reflected in the running clock at the bottom of the frame, this video has been sped up to run in a few minutes. The heat supplied by a radiant system is measured in British thermal units, or BTUs, per square foot. The bars to the side of each panel reflect the average heat output of each test panel as time elapses. Let's watch the complete video now. 10 BTUs per square foot is a common heating requirement on an average day in winter. Warmboard reaches that requirement in about 20 minutes. Notice how heat has flowed evenly across the panel. The quick track system, with nearly twice the amount of tubing, is producing only 5 BTUs, with some areas of the surface not yet producing any heat at all. Let's continue. After an hour and 9 minutes, quick track reaches the 10 BTU output, although surface temperatures are quite uneven. In that same amount of time, Warmboard is delivering 16 BTUs with more even heat. At the end of the test, QuickTrack surface temperatures varied by almost 5 degrees, a difference you can feel as you walk across the floor. Warmboard, on the other hand, is just above 2 degrees, too subtle to be noticed. Warmboard reached the desired 10 BTU output in 20 minutes, while QuickTrack took 4 times longer. And remember, QuickTrack has nearly double the amount of tubing, which means almost twice the material costs and the labor to install it. And because QuickTrack uses narrower tubing, loop lengths are shorter, resulting in four times as many manifolds and controls, further increasing labor. Lastly, because of Warmboard's superior conductivity, the desired 10 BTU output can be reached using 20 degree lower water temperatures, saving about 7% on your energy bills, hour after hour, year after year. As in other tests, the winner is warm board. With response time, performance, and surface temperatures, there's just no comparison. When it comes to comfort, warm board is much better at producing the right amount of heat right when you want it. 